with a big story. That big story tonight, it is becoming clear what will be done for the homeless in downtown Birmingham during the World Games. Good evening, I'm Ben Hoover. I'm Sherry Jackson. Birmingham city leaders saying tonight they will not displace homeless residents during the games. CBS 42's Jen Cardone joins us live in Birmingham tonight. Jen, the mayor's remarks are different than what we previously heard from city leaders. That's right, Sherry. So those remarks are different, but they want the homeless folks to know that there will be options, including a new cooling overnight center that will open just in time for the World Games, especially as streets start to close around venues like Protective Stadium. The hammering down of a midsummer rain forces the homeless to find cover and stay dry Tuesday night. No one is putting homeless people out of public space. Previously, city and World Games officials had confirmed that homeless citizens would be displaced if they lived within secure perimeters for the events. But now that will not be the case. If you have a service, if you need a service, those sites are available for you. One is here at 8th Avenue Fitness Center. It will serve as a cooling and sleeping center from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. all 10 days of the World Games. We wanted people to know that we're, we're providing a safe place for our friends experiencing homelessness to come and gather because they may not be able to gather in their other locations. Deborah Baylock from the Faith Chapel Care Center says the Compassion Project here will make it possible for anyone who needs them to to get three meals a day, access to health services and entertainment throughout the games. Woodfin says the city will not force them away. If you are a citizen with the home, if you want to sit in the park and just chill, you can do that. That's in the zone. And if you're without a home, you can do that as well. Now, Woodfin says there's been a lot of misinformation about the homeless situation. He says he's more than willing to come out and talk to all the folks in the homeless community to make sure they know about those options. I'm going to have a list of all the options that are available for other sheltering options on our website, CBS42.com. Reporting live in Birmingham tonight, Jen Cardone, CBS42 News. Local coverage you can count on.